Over the years, Chrome browser have been the go-to web browser for millions of people, including web designers and developers. As a web designer or a developer, you're always looking for ways to make your life easier and more productive. Well, Chrome browser supports hundreds of extensions that can be used for various design and development purposes. In this video, I will be showing you six free useful Chrome extensions for web designers and developers. The first on the list is Wave. This extension helps you to evaluate web accessibility within your browser. It provides visual feedback about the accessibility of your web content. This extension facilitates human evaluation and educates you about your web accessibility issues. The good thing about this is all analysis are done entirely within the Chrome browser, allowing secure evaluation of internet, local, password protected and other sensitive pages. To run a web report on a web page, simply click on the icon at the top right of your address bar this icon here on the particular web page and voila you get this or better still you can simply do the same thing by just right clicking on anywhere on the web page and then you now select the wave this page on the context menu and it loads up the wave accessibility report so as you can see from the report you can see the details of the report here Screw down, see everything, all the accessibility reports for your website. And that is pretty much it about the Wave Accessibility Evaluation tool. The next on the list is the Mobile Simulator. This extension is one of the most useful Chrome extensions for web designers and front-end developers, as it simulates smartphones and tablets on computer with several models to test the responsiveness of any website. I personally use this extension to test majority of my websites now once the extension has been act, has been installed on your chrome you go to the website whatever website you want to check the responsiveness of the website take for instance this website and right here you can you just click on this icon and it loads up the mobile version of your website right here you can change the device from the several list of devices for android smartphone for apple smartphone and even special devices and tablet as well right below that you can change the orientation of the website you want to your 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 viewing you can also take screenshot as well from, and you can see from the screenshot options you can take screenshot with the device frame without the device frame and even the full page screenshot as well and over here you can take screencast once you click on this it gives you the ability to record the screen of your website something like this and once you're done you just click on save and it saves it as a gif for you to download and then use anywhere on your website or use for presentation as the case may be so you can see this is what it gives you this is the option for you to download it the option for you to download it then right below here you can also activate the night mode and then you can also go to the settings and then set the device for each new activation as as as, as it is now it is set to iphone 12 pro you can change that to whatever device you wish so that is pretty much it about the mobile simulator. This is a very wonderful tool. This board is a Google open source Chrome extension toolbar and is the next on our list. This extension gives power to designers and content creators in a place where they currently feel they have little or none. By bringing design tools, interaction, hotkeys to the browser, with this extension, you can literally point, click, move, resize, edit, or style any page in any state like it's not board. This extension is useful in many ways, such as to brainstorm new UI and front-end design ideas, create pixel-perfect mockups on the fly, edit text, replace or adapt images without the need for dev tools. Now, after installing this extension to your browser, you head onto the page you want to make use of it. And on the page, you now click on the icon, this icon that looks like a bug. You click on it and you can see all the various options this extension gives you. This, The first here is the accessibility. With this extension, you can check the accessibility and attribute compliance status of your website. All you just need to do is to click on it. And then when you move your cursor around, you see all the details you need to see. The next is the ability to move element literally in, out, or over, and under any how you want to move it on the web page here is for margin settings uh, and then the padding add padding and here also you can check the flexbox align create modify flexbox direction distribution order and wrapping as the case may be and, and the list goes on and on and on this is a very powerful extension that you might want to consider adding to your chrome browser 
The next on the list is Wapalizer. This Chrome extension helps you to identify technologies used on any website. With a single click, you can find out everything about a website such as the framework, CMS, JavaScript library, security, SEO, WordPress plugin, and lots more. So after installing the extension, you head on to whatever web page you want to check the technology used on that web page. Take for instance this web page, and right here, you see the icon here. This is the icon for the Wapalizer. All you just need to do is to click on it, and it loads up and shows you all the technology used on the website. When you scroll down, you see every details you need about the website. This is a very handy, handy um, extension that you might want to consider having on your Chrome browser as it can make life really easy for you as a web designer or a developer. The next on the list is the Font Finder extension. This extension can be very useful to web designers and developers as, as it helps you to see the font family, the font size, the line height, and so many other details of a particular font on any web page. This is the easiest way to identify font details on a web page. Now, after installing the extension to your Chrome browser, you now head on to whatever page you've seen and then you like the font used on that particular page. Take, for instance, this page, and then you click on the font finder icon. This opens up, and then you click on find font. Once you've done that, you now hover on the particular font you've seen and you like. Take, for instance, this font. Once you click on it, it gives you all the font details. And the good thing about this extension is that it allows you to save the style. You can even save it by clicking on save. And then you head back to the font icon, font finder icon. And when you click on it, you can see the font you've saved. And you can reuse it or you can even delete it after you've used it. So this is a wonderful extension you might want to add to your Chrome browser. The last on our list is the eyedropper extension. This is an open source extension that allows you to pick color from web pages. And the good thing about this extension is that it also have an advanced color picker at your disposal. So this is a great tool for web designers and developers. So after you might have installed this extension on your browser, you now head on to the web page you want to pick your color from. Take for instance this page and we want to pick this color from this page. All you just need to do is go to the eyedropper icon, this icon, and once you click on it, you see this button here that says pick color from web page. You just click on it and you go to the part of the web page you want to pick your color from and you just click on it and you can see this the color has been selected and you can see the color details this is the color code you can use anywhere on your website here also is a color picker which you can use to select whatever color you want to select and then you can use the color code anywhere on your website down here is all the various colors you might have selected from different websites and then you want to like export it as a csv and use it anywhere can do that. So this is a very handy tool that you might need as a web designer or developer on your browser. And so guys, we've come to the end of this video. If you find this tutorial helpful, please remember to like and drop your comment. If you're new to our channel, also remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next I drop a new video. Bye-bye!